we seen last couple of weeks. We got Do you play. see the Big Ten tournament as a chance to get on a roll, or is it also a chance to get worn out? Because <laughs> the, I mean, yeah. the fandom they want to they remember what happens in the dance, not sure. so much what happens in Indy. Yeah, no, I think that there's a reality to that 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 uh, uh, the NCAA tournament is what is is. Um, most remembered really in, in some ways about your season. Maybe there's a couple games, Clay, that people remember, you know, the Duke game for us or whatever, or a disappointing yep. loss. Yep. Uh, but the NCAA tournament in so many ways uh, is what people really reflect on. And, um, you know, we've had three opportunities uh, here since we've been here. And I think we performed well in two, op two of those three opportunities. We did yesterday. We'll talk more about that next week. Um, it's a matchup thing as much as anything, but I, I think the idea with this is you just want to, you know, I'd like to get a little bit healthier, and I'd like to, I'd like to, um, you know, just play a little better. Uh, those, those are the two things. Whatever comes out of this week, uh, and then in preparation for obviously next week. So you might be praying for a Friday Sunday next week. <laughs> you know, I, I, I uh, the the whole Sunday was it Sunday Friday last year I think. Uh, for us, I think it was Sunday, Friday. You know that is, um, you know that that uh, that Sunday, Friday deal or Sunday, Thursday certainly unique. It, not, nothing like I ever experienced. Um, and coaches, you know, if you were to gather them all privately, they'd all have their opinions about the benefit of conference tournament play and how that plays into NCAA. And a lot of them would have very strong opinions. Uh, that's never going away. It's never going away. No, I think Clay, you know why it's not going away. <laughs> so, Give me some of that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because you were talking about uh, Gene a moment ago, and, and you know, but missing those guys in the middle of the lineup, and I just I keep thinking about Justice and the impact he would have made on this team, and looking at like his defensive rebounding numbers last year. Uh, where are you as far as trying to find someone who can give you some of that from, from his position? Because it seems like some of the offensive rebounding issues he yeah. might have been able to negate some of that. Um, you know, we've looked at Justin um, some. Um, the, the physicality, I think, is, is something he's got to continue to get used to. Um, but I just, you know, we're somewhat limited there option-wise, uh, uh, Adam, just with, just with what we talked about. So, you know, the, the challenge is, is Gene's got to continue to grow. Um, and... Um, I think we, we might have to look at playing bigger at times than what we had thought. Uh, you're just, you know, you're constantly racking your brain to figure out, okay, in light of all these absence we, absences we have here, how do we find a way to maybe put our best players on the floor? Um, but you also don't want to put your players at a disadvantage too. So, um, you know, we'll continue to think through those things and hopefully can get a little bit healthier, you know, with Kyle in the, in the coming, you know, week. Yeah, no, I think I think there's a reality to that, but I, I think the, the biggest the biggest thing for us is again is how we're playing and and are we improving in some of those areas we've talked about and uh, um, you know that doesn't mean that that uh, again we we played well and lost and we played poorly and won and uh, those those the, the standard is how we're playing and I think that's what we're trying to evaluate. Listen, we know that. Um, this tournament will be, a, every game will be a challenge. That's the reality. And we're taking this first bracket as, obviously we'll see who wins tonight and we'll go from there. And we know that will be uh, a challenging game tomorrow at nine o'clock. And then we'll, you know, we'll go on to the next matchup if we win. Is it kind of an advantage for you to not know who you're playing? You, had, you can just have your guys focus on themselves this week? Maybe, you know, that's one way of looking at it. I, I suppose that's possible. Um, you know, I think you can get a little bit too focused on other teams uh, this time of year. So, so that, that might be the case. Um, 
But but in you know I think coaches if they had their preference would probably prefer to know who they're going to play, um, and um, you know I think I think obviously we'll know that on, on Sunday, uh, moving into the tournament. All right, guys. Thanks.